Yo, what up guys? CO2 on Tame Tier back on FS22 in uh, today's video. I'm gonna... I got stuck on a damn door. What the hell? Fitter just sent me flying up in the ceiling. A scary door. We're gonna come outside here. It's a beautiful day in March. And uh, by the name of the title, I've been looking at this cat eye. I saw this cat eye. It's very clean, very stock. It's like an 03, 04, something like that. Or I think maybe it was a 2006. I don't know. But uh, I thought about taking this Dodge right here. Because this Dodge is pretty clean. But I figure since we got this old beater Ford here. Maybe it'll start up. It barely starts up. But yeah, she started up. So we're going to hook this up. And uh, I'm going to take it back to this garage. Because my garage is kind of full down there in the in the town we still got the k30 that locks up perfect uh i don't really okay maybe that sits way too low so okay never mind we're not gonna take the beater ford but uh definitely gonna take the beater ford out to the mud pit really quick and then we'll come back and get that that dot but I don't know, I, I'm really debating on selling this Ford, and it does have some trouble starting up here and there, but it's been somewhat reliable, and actually somewhat working pretty good, but I'll go right here in the mud bowl pit, fetter. Oh, I swear to God, if we get stuck. We barely got stuck, almost got stuck. I don't know what exactly I want to do with this field. I might just use this for like bailing hay and crap like that. You know, keep my uh keep all the grass out of the oh i almost hit my fence keep all the grass out of the mud pit but we're gonna park this over here like i said it's an old beater we got the bourbon right there i thought about using the bourbon to go pick it up but it's kind of decently loud so we'll hop in the the daily the dd and after that polling video this is actually a pretty reliable truck i like it it's uh I love the lights on it. It's pretty clean. I'm not a huge Dodge guy, but you know, if they had this at the dealership, I'd consider trading. You know, and this exact image right here, I'd consider trading one of my vehicles in and making the payments. But uh, yeah, this is this is very clean. We're gonna go. We're gonna pick up this cat eye. I'll see you guys soon as we get to the feathers property. All right, guys, we are pulling up. I just got done talking to the guy. The guy said it was a uh, round back. We looked at it, and uh, is it this barn? Okay, it is this barn. That's what I was wondering. I th thought it was that house, but these all look the same. We're going to pull pull up just a little. You know what? Actually, we're going to pull right up ahead right here, and uh, we're going to straighten out this trailer a little bit. I talked to him. I told him I wanted it, and... Uh, I'm gonna show it off, but it's already paid. Got the title in the truck. Gave him the cash already. But like, look how beautiful and clean this. Uh, I think it was a 2006. It's a 4500, but it has the 2500 HD in it. So I'm assuming, and it does have an axle dump right there. It's pretty clean. It's very clean. I love this. And my plan is. And it fires right up. I never even fired it up. I just told him I wanted it because my plan is is uh turn it into a mud truck maybe. A big monster truck probably. Uh, that's that's really my plan. What's a muscle dude doing? Come on man, you're getting in the damn way, Fetter. Excuse me, senor. I don't even know if this is Oh good thing we got full of drive in this truck, cause <laughs> drop trailer is it's not working so uh yeah we're gonna shut this truck off and uh we're definitely gonna have to invest in a bigger trailer maybe or just strap it that way it's not going anywhere i'm gonna use the old tow rig and uh i don't want to take this to the shop because i figure i'm just gonna work this on the main garage but i we're gonna stop by i can't see my fence oh there we go gonna stop by there and i'll show you because i sold the crown vic and uh i actually sold one of my peter builds not the clean one because the clean one's still sitting in the shop but dang i gotta close my gates when i leave i forgot to close my gates both of them Ooh, we still got the overkill 
a big old 6x6 Ford. That's just still sitting in the same spot. I don't know what I want to do. I did sell the, the trailer. I might sell this Ram. If I'm going to be honest. Because. Yeah. It's a nice truck. But. You know. I, I got this K30 technically. I got this Cat Eye. That I could use. But. I'm probably definitely going to sell that Ram. And. I know I just bought this first gen. I don't know. What I'm going to use it for. So I'm. I'm probably going to sell that too. I bought this down south. And I could probably. Uh get a good price for it up here with it being clean and everything original on it so i'm probably going to sell that and i'm probably going to sell this ram throw it on there because i'm getting too many vehicles and I don't, I don't have any use for the vehicles uh the overkill is probably going to stay because you know it might be dumb but i thought about taking that to the freaking the off-road park <laughs> and, and seeing how that would do or by next winter i might throw some sleds on it Cause I seen some conversion kits where I could throw tracks on it and have like a, a tank that'd be that'd be pretty sick I don't know if I'm gonna do that but uh, yeah probably I might I might buy the sleds for that or the tracks make it my like my portable tank but we're gonna head back to the farmhouse but I'm gonna get turned around here and I'm uh, I'm gonna go shut these gates but I'll see you guys soon as we get to the farmhouse all right guys we made it back to the shop and like i said like look at that i love the i love the general and uh we got her out of the garage it's finally nice and clean i got that island can you hear that so clean the horn works i i love the horn but i got the i got the general out it's been a while since uh last time i seen it was in the and last time you guys seen it, it was in that one video. But I'm probably going to go wash this turd off. Clean this up. I got the cat eye sitting outside for the minute. But we're going to definitely wash this truck. Like I said, I'm probably going to sell this. Sell those Ram. Start eliminating some trucks. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this turd. So, uh, it has a 7.3 in it. It's, it's a pretty fun truck. Which, I don't know, I might keep this one. You know, for a Ford. It has been pretty fun. And I do, I do like it some semi. Pretty clean. I'd rather beat the crap out of this than my square bodies and stuff like that. I'm going to turn this off. But I'm probably going to definitely throw a ball hitch on it. I don't even know how that hooked up. But yes, this is the beautiful cat eye. That is my plan. We're going to fire this sucker back up. And we're actually going to get it right into the garage. And we're going to start working on it. And, uh, my plan is, yeah, when you see this truck, it's not gonna look anything like it. My plan is to jack it super high, custom-built SEMA slash mud truck with some boggers and stuff on it. So, that's my plan with this truck. And, uh, still got the beautiful K30, or the K30, and then the old square body. And, uh, yeah, nothing new, or... Er, Nothing really changed here at the shop. It's just I've been mostly using everything over there. But I'm going to give this your old spin around. Cruise that around. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.